Welcome! This tutorial will go over what each perfectly clear algorithm does and how you can fine-tune the automatic corrections to achieve optimal results. Please note that this is also described in our user manual that you can access by clicking the Help button. The first step once you open our plugin is to select a preset to work with. The default preset is an excellent starting point and contains a robust set of corrections for all photos. If you work on a lot of outdoor photos, you might like our landscape preset, which creates a photo with a bit more color vibrancy and punch for you. The portrait preset will give you a soft photo with smooth skin tones. If you have a really noisy photo, a camera photo, a photo taken at night, with high ISO, or simply a dark photo, then our noise removal preset will work magic. For extremely dark photos, select our fixed dark preset to bring out details in extremely dark photos, but we do not recommend using this preset on normal good photos. For photos like the one we have loaded that have an abnormal tint to them, we need the tint removal preset which applies our patented automatic tint removal. Abnormal tint occurs in situations where the sensors of the camera have inappropriately picked up and reflected in the image excess green from fluorescent lights or excess red from infrared heat of a person in the image or excess blue from ultraviolet or excess yellow from tungsten lights. In this example, you can see how Perfectly Clear has instantly removed the unwanted yellow tint. To fine tune, simply move the slider bar to get less of a correction. Lastly, note the exposure value 80. We'll discuss this further in a moment. Now let's load another photo, taken indoors. Note that the preset that you used last time will be remembered for your next session. Let's start with the default preset. The patented perfect exposure correction optimizes the light exposure in every pixel. It is as if your 10 megapixel photo was taken with 10 million different apertures, with the aperture properly exposed for each pixel. See how perfectly clear automatically applied an exposure correction of 100%? On our first photo of the store, only 80% was applied. Each photo that you open in our Photoshop plugin is automatically analyzed and the optimum exposure applied. This is why you'll notice a different exposure value as you load different photos. The unique perfectly clear approach results in an accurately beautiful photo. Note that as you move the slider bar to the right, the photo becomes brighter, but still full of color. Perfectly clear will never clip or wash out a photo as more exposure is applied which is a problem with traditional corrections. There are three levels of auto exposure correction. This is useful to help you fine tune your photos when batch processing. If you would like photos to be brighter, for example, then select high. Note how the exposure automatically updates to 150%. Select low if you would like the auto exposure to be less aggressive and produce darker photos. Next, let's look at our contrast, also called depth correction. This comes from the medical world where we reveal the details in x-rays. Getting back to photography, the eye perceives reality in 3D. This is why you like depth in your photos. We get many compliments on how perfectly clear photos really pop off the screen. This is due to our contrast depth correction and is also why we set this value quite high. As you move the slider bar to the left, you'll notice a flatter looking image. However, on dark photos, less contrast will reveal the details in the shadows and thus, applying less contrast can be a trick to creating a brighter photo. We're going to skip the color controls for now and go directly to sharpening or clarity. Generally, you won't need more than 100% sharpening. However, we have received requests for the ability to apply 
more of our artifact free sharpening. So in our new plugin, version 1.5, you can increase sharpening all the way up to 200%. Automatically and behind the scenes, we scale the sharpening to ensure that small photos aren't over sharpened and that large photos still get enough sharpening. Now, let's zoom into the photo to look at the skin and the table behind. Notice that there is a lot of color noise. When you turn on our powerful noise removal, you'll notice how the noise is removed from the skin and the background. You can also fine tune the correction. Simply go down here to the optimal refinement and move the strength slider bar to the right for more noise removal and the details to the right to preserve the details. Furthermore, you can choose one of the drop-down options. Portrait will deliberately smooth skin tones to create a soft look. The night scene works magic for photos taken at night, and the camera phone option calls a specific engine optimized to remove noise from all camera phones. Unlike other noise removal solutions that will blur a photo and always apply, our noise removal is automatic. It analyzes the photo to detect if noise exists and will only remove noise if it exists. Thus, you can turn our noise removal on and robustly batch process a large number of photos safely, knowing that only noisy images will be corrected. If noise is not detected on a photo, then simply choose the strongest selection to force noise removal. Let's move to our portrait section where there are three powerful corrections for portrait photos. Did you know that cameras capture infrared light but the human eye doesn't see infrared? This is why your skin tones often appear redder than you remember. This is especially true if one has been drinking or in the heat as the pores in the skin open up and emit more infrared. But not to worry, simply turn on our skin tone correction and you'll notice the red being removed from the skin revealing a beautiful natural look. You can adjust how much of a correction to apply by moving the slider bar to the left for less or to the right for more. Next, let's look at the eyes. All four contain red eye, which is not good. However, you can remove this red eye, including the challenging portion behind the glasses, instantly and with zero effort on your part. The automatic red eye is very robust, so you can always leave it on, even if your photo doesn't contain red eye. We're going to load a different photo to show you our light diffusing correction. The light diffusion setting has been developed for portrait photos, weddings, and close facial shots. As you can see in this example, it diffuses the light automatically to create a softer picture with less contrast and slightly warmer, redder skin tones. Lastly, let's go back to the color controls. Due to the linear nature of the digital camera sensors, your photos often look washed out, like a newspaper that's been left out in the sun too long. This didn't happen with film because the film response to light is logarithmic. The good news is that our color vibrancy correction will fix this automatically. Our patented approach looks at each channel individually instead of simply searching for black, which is what traditional solutions do. Our approach enables us to better approximate how the eye adjusts saturation differently in different parts of the photo. This is why we get these stunning vibrancy corrections and maintain the original colors of your memory. Note that this correction is automatic, so if the photo has proper color vibrancy, then this correction and slider bar adjustment will not have any impact on the photo. Digital capture devices are currently incapable of reproducing the full visual spectrum of colors the eye sees. This is why purple objects such as a FedEx box, a Lakers jersey, or purple bridesmaids dresses will appear blue in a photo and why grass often appears a brighter green instead of a yellowish green. The good news is we have a powerful solution for this as well. 
Notice in the photo how the grass is more yellowish green and the lavender is a proper purple when this correction is turned on. If you wish to give your photos a further color boost, then just select the vivid option. On another note, we mentioned earlier that noise removal is fully automatic. Since there is no noise in this photo, our noise detection is saying no noise detected. But as mentioned, if you wanted to force noise correction, simply choose the strongest setting. We hope you found this video very helpful.